Hello everyone and welcome back to Noise in a Book. Today I am reviewing Black Like Me by John Howard Griffith. Black Like Me is the story of a journalist who takes a medication and uses skin dye to turn himself into a black man in the 1950s and he travels between Mississippi, Alabama, and Georgia. The moment I heard what this book was about, I ran out and bought it. I don't read a lot of nonfiction, so that was one of the reasons I was very excited to read this book, and I loved the way it was written. John Howard Griffin is a journalist. His writing is very straightforward. It feels very journalistic. This is written in the form of a diary. The diary part of it goes very quickly. It didn't take me very long. It hooked me really fast. It slows down a little bit when John Howard Griffin writes his afterword, but it's still very fascinating, and he talks a lot about how his family and the people who were, who were involved in his experiment, how his time doing this in the publication of this book affected their lives. And he also talks a lot about this underground group of white people that would travel around together trying to bring the civil rights issues at the time more into light. And then at the very end, there's a little bit of uh, biographical information about John Howard Griffin. Uh, which was an afterword written 50 years later by one of his publishers and someone who's written a lot of uh, biographies about John Howard Griffin. He was a very fascinating person, and I loved this book. We learn in history school how bad black people had it, especially in the South and throughout the course of our history, but it also touches on a lot of things that are still kind of problematic today. When he was hitchhiking between Alabama and Mississippi and Georgia, almost every time he would get into some white guy's car, they would ask him about his sex life and how big his manhood was. They would make all these assumptions based on the fact that he was black. One of the ideas that he explores a lot in this book is the idea that people act the way we treat them. And if we treat people like they are lesser, then they're going to have to act like they're lesser in order to be able to continue to survive. We know that there was the whole separate but equal idea where black people had to use a different bathroom and they had to drink from different water fountains, but he also really explains that in a lot of places it was just not feasible. You had to walk six blocks to find a bathroom to use, and I mean, you guys have been somewhere and all of a sudden you really gotta go. You don't want to think about walking six blocks. I felt it was very well written. Even though it was written 50 years ago, it's still pertinent to a lot of the racism that goes on today. It was an amazing way to get inside the head of somebody who was also getting inside the head of somebody else. Even though he was always for civil rights, he even talks about how he didn't fully understand what people were doing to black people at this time until he became one of them by changing his skin color. I decided to give this book five out of five stars because I do love that I read it and it was very well written and it definitely opened my perspective on race issues. The only thing that's kind of eh about it is that it is, it's very much look at this white guy come in to help these black people and that's always kind of sat weirdly with me especially when it comes to stuff like civil rights and sexism and like, look, how we need help from the ruling majority in order to do anything. But John Howard Griffin also notes on that and talks about how his biggest job after this book com came out was to go to white communities who were looking for people to explain what was going on in black communities, he would go in and introduce them to people in their black community. He would just go into their communities, find the black people in their community, and set these white people up with the black people because he's very open about how he shouldn't be telling this story. It shouldn't matter what he went through because this is how we're treating people. I would highly recommend it for anyone. It's also very short. It only took me so three days to read this book. So if you're also looking to like just add something different on to your numbers for good for a Goodreads goal, this doesn't take very long and it's very interesting and I I breezed through it. It's fascinating. I loved it. Next I am reading Cuckoo's Calling by Robert Galbraith. I'm very excited to read this book. I don't really know what to expect out of it, but I I think it's gonna be good. I don't read a lot of mystery. It's not a genre that I know a lot about, so I'm very excited to see how that goes. I will see you later this week, and I hope you have a great day. Hello everyone, and welcome back. Welcome back.